continue. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ephesians chapter four. Read Ephesians chapter four. To prepare the people of God for the work of service. Okay. So, so that the body of Christ may be built up mm -hmm. until we all reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God mm -hmm. and become mature, mm -hmm. attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. Attaining to the word, to the whole measure of what of the fullness of Christ. Mm -hmm. Will no longer be in fact tossed to a brain, eh? tossed back and forth mm -hmm. by every waves, mm -hmm. and blown here and there by every wind of the teaching, mm -hmm. and by the cunning and craftiness of many that the physical skin. Instead, speaking the truth in love, mm -hmm. we will in all things grow up into him mm -hmm. who is the head, mm -hmm. that is Christ. From him, the whole body joined and held together by every supporting ligament. Grows and build the tape up in love as each person does it. Let me see that. Verse 13 from King James. Verse 13. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 13. Unto him. Perfect man. Amen. To come to which measure? The measure of the fullness of the stature of what? Of Christ. So sanctification brings us to what? It brings us to the measure of the fullness of the stature of Christ. And that is why he says in John 17, you know what he says in John 17? He said that 17 to 19, he says, Sanctify them, O Lord, by your truth, for your word is truth. He now says in verse 19 of John 17, he said, For because for their sake I sanctify myself, so that they can also be what? Be sanctified. He says, So that what? So that they so may also be what? Be truly sanctified. Do you know why? So that we can come to where? To the measure of the fullness of what? Of the stature of Christ. So what is sanctification? Sanctification is a process by which men, mortal men, created in dust, they are what? They are brought, they are transformed into the what? The fullness of the, of the what? Of the measure of the stature of Christ. What is trans uh, a sanctification? A process through which, amen, through which believers in believers are what? Are what? Are transformed into what? Into the fullness or into the likeness of Christ. That is transformation. I mean, that is a, san a sanctification. It brings us. And that is why he said, that who we have all men to be saved and to what? And to come to the knowledge of the truth. Because it is the truth that sanctifies you and bring you to where? To the fullness of what? Of the stature, of the measure of the stature of Christ. Let me finish that please. You are in Stephen 13, Abby. Yes. Mm -hmm. Read further. Okay, so that we henceforth be no more children. There will be no more children. Tossed to and fro. Mm -hmm. And carried about with every wind of doctrine. Mm -hmm. By the cunning craftiness of men. Mm -hmm. By the cunning craftiness of men. By the slight of men and cunning craftiness. Whereby they lie in wait to deceive. Mm -hmm. But speaking the truth in love. Speaking the truth in love. Because the truth that sanctifies, eh? We grow up into him in all things. We may grow up. So sanctification brings you to a place where you grow up to Christ in how many things? You grow up to become like Christ. Which is the head, even Christ. Mm -hmm. From whom the whole body fitly joined together mm -hmm. and compacted by that which every joint supplied mm -hmm. according to the effectual working in the major of every part, mm -hmm. make it increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. Mm -hmm. This I say therefore and testify in the Lord, that you henceforth walk not as other Gentiles mm -hmm. Don't walk like them, eh? in the vanity of their mind. Mm -hmm. Having the understanding darkened, mm -hmm. being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them, mm -hmm. because of the blindness of their hearts, of their hearts. Mm -hmm. who, being past feeling, have given themselves over unto lasciviousness yes, yes, yes. to walk all cleanness with greediness. Mm -hmm. But you have not so learned Christ. Mm -hmm. You have not so learned in Christ. <laughs> If so be that you have had him and been taught by him, mm -hmm. as the truth is in Jesus, mm -hmm. that he put off concerning the former conversation, the old man. So sanctification makes you to put on, to put off what? The former conversation, the old man. You put it off. After you are born again, sanctification brings you to a place where you put off. Amen. You put off concerning the word, 
the old man, the former commission, the old man, you are no longer like them again, eh? Which is corrupt mm -hmm. according to the deceitful lust. Mm -hmm. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. So there is what? There is a renewal. And in, I put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Are you, now, you now put on what you put on now? A new man. Which is after Christ, he created the word. In righteousness. Which verse is that? 24. That is uh, when uh, uh, Ephesians 4 24. Amen. Created in righteousness and what? And in holiness. That means you have now put on a new man. Amen. You are now become what? A sanctified believer. A brand new man. All things are passed away. All things are new. More than a conqueror. That's who I am. I'm a new creation. A brand new man. I'm a new creation. A brand new man. All things are passed away. All things are new. More than a conqueror. That's who I am. I'm a new creation. My mind made up, and I won't turn back because I want to see my Jesus someday. I've got my mind made up, and I won't turn back because I want to see my Jesus someday. Goodbye, world. Sanctification. Are you finished that scripture? Number 25. Okay, what 25 says? Wherefore, putting a well line, mm -hmm. speak every man truth you with his neighbor. Put a well line. For we are members mm -hmm. one of another. Mm -hmm. Be ye angry and say not. Mm -hmm. Let not the sun go down upon your rocks. Mm -hmm. Neither give place to the devil. Mm -hmm. Let him that stole sin no more. But rather, let him labor. Walking with his hands a thing which is good. Mm -hmm. That he may have to give to him that needed. Mm -hmm. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mm, mouth. No way. But that which is good to the use of a divine, mm -hmm. that it may minister grace unto the hearers. Mm. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby you are sealed unto the day of redemption. Mm. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be ye kind one to another, tender hearted. Forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake, have forgiven you. Amen. Say, grieve not what? So this, this is the embodiment of what I'm talking about. You know, he said, put away this. Abi, put away. That means what are you doing? That is talking about the picture. Put away. Punch yourself. Remove this one. Grieve not the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. You know, as we we're praying, as we we're praying, that was when the inspiration came. Amen. That sanctification is what? Is the process through which what? Through which the children of God or believers in Christ are what? They are transformed. Amen. Into the what? The likeness of Jesus Christ. They are changed. They put on the new man. No longer the old man. They put off lying, cheating, you know, foolish talkings. They are speaking truth to one another. We are going to pray, Lord, please. I surrender myself for sanctification. I do what? And that is why Romans 12 say what? He say, offer yourself there for what? As a living sacrifice. We are going to say, Lord, I offer myself for sanctification, Lord. Please, Lord. I present myself, Lord, for sanctification. Lord, in the name of Jesus, take over, Lord, completely. Let your Holy Ghost do the work of sanctification in me, Lord. Let your blood purge me, Lord. With your refining fire, refine me, Lord. With your followers of Lord, wash me, Lord. I surrender myself for total sanctification. 
to put off the old man. Marano Shakata. I give myself to your word that we're talking this morning about giving yourself to the word because the word brings transformation. Kuriyamada brings sanctification. Hey, I surrender to the Holy Ghost. Kuriyamada balai. Reketeke lege de boko sukata balaga da bala. Endo robo do boko soko to bali. Praga shoko to libra katalia. Amina gaba robo boko soko to libra gede. Ali bregede kapro soko to libra kasakata balai. Malege de gelege de gelege de ya. Repo ko soko to libre ge de gelege de ya. Kabre ge de bolush. En kadaba rege de gelege de bogo soko to libra kashakata balai. En dalege de gelege de bogo. Rabaka soko to libre ge de gele ya. En kapale ge de bolush. Listen to this. I posted this afternoon as I was as just an extract from uh, from the new book. Uh, the book... Uh, the self prophetic step to bad in New Nigeria. We encourage everybody to go to that, to go to uh, Amazon bookstore and get that book because it's going to uh, get that book, Amazon bookstore. And the hard copies are going to be printed very soon. I'm trusting of funds to print the hard copies as well before the, the, this month and this January 2022 end. Amen. The message of grace and prosperity without sanctification is the devil's greatest way of manufacturing fake Christians. And nurturing a nation for calamity and a people for hell. You understand that? The words, the messages of grace and prosperity without word, without trans, without word, without sanctification, is the devil's word. Greatest way of man, you know, to manufacture. Manufacturing words. Fake Christians have been manufactured. Fake Christians everywhere. Fake Christians everywhere. Amen. And what? And nurturing a nation for calamity. When there is no sanctification, a nation is being what is being nurtured for what for calamity, and the people are being nurtured for for hell. And that is what happened to Europe. Europe, America have witnessed great revival in history, but because the the what the devil sponsored the message of grace and prosperity to America to Europe to the church. What happened? They say if you go to if you go to uh, Scotland now. John Knox Church and is is uh, this in their now they are now hotels they are they are hotels now they are mono, they are just monuments now even 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 if you go to so John uh, John Wesley the same thing because the message of sanctification was what was ignored message of uh, grace and what and prosperity came in and the devil began to ma to what he began to manufacture fake Christians fake pastors fake mm -hmm. fake 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 bishops. Fake apostles, fake, fake prophets, fake teachers, fake, fake everything, fake, fake. We have a brand of Christianity that is a fake Christianity. Because of what? Because we preach grace and prosperity without what? Without sanctification. We are going to pray on this altar, Lord. Begin to judge every preacher of, of, of grace and prosperity without sanctification that have brought, that have generated what? Fake Christians. Put them in position, they will dupe you. Today in Nigeria, nobody wants to deal with Christians. When you say a Christian, they say they don't want to hear that word Christian because many of them, they are crooks, rogues, Yahoo, Yahoo boys, scammers, fake politicians, wicked politicians. Let's pray. Kaparo that the hand of God shall be stretched for you in Nigeria. To begin to judge these fake ministers of the gospel that were produced, the message of grace that began, that, and prosperity that, that began years ago, that is where we are today. The generation of modern Christians, even they are more wicked than even the, the elderly ones. We have raised the generation of brood of vipers, openers and finishers everywhere, who are ready to do anything for this to get money and in the name of the gospel. Kurima kasaka tabalaya, leka para no sokoto bradi kasaba lagadaya, regete gelege de bobo kusokoto libra kataba, ambrodo bobo kusokoto dia, para taka sokoto libra gade bolu. Let the of God's judgment be stretched out in the name of Jesus. Kuminaya. Rikata pako sokoto ripoko sokoto libra kasakatalia. Abreke sokoto libra kadaya. Parade sokoto liya. Judge these fake pastors. Judge these fake people. Product of grace and, and prosperity without sanctification. That have taken over hold of the church. Producing more fake pastors. Producing fake prophets. Producing fake teachers. Producing fake Christians. Everything has become fake. Kuria manabala. Because Christianity without, without salvation is fake. Christianity without salvation is what? It is fake religion. It is a fake religion. It is an empty and empty modern, hell-leading hell religion. Take away 
first allegation of Christianity, then you you, you have you want to go, you get his word. It's eternal destruction, eternal doom. Paracos, and that is why many will not make rapture because of what? Prosperity and grace without that sanctification. Many will miss help, miss rapture because of it. And at, at, after rapture, they will realize that they have made the great mistake of their life. Let's pray in the name of Jesus. Paradox Shakatabalai. Zukoto libre gedegelegedi. Anto sakapoli. Sekuta paradabaka shokoto libre gedi. Kamba legedi. Regede kusakatabrade shakatabala. Parado kusokoto libre gadai. God bless you, brethren. There is no doubt about the fact that uh, a lot of harm has been done to. Christianity today, not just in Nigeria alone, but it's the same not in Africa alone, but in America, in Europe. And there is a great falling away. There is great apostasy. Churches are on sale in Europe. A lot of churches have been bought over by Muslims and be turned into mugs or shopping complex or any other thing, or even, you know, even schools and so many evil that happen. America also, the same thing is happening. What is the problem? Why the apostasy? It is because of our negligence and, and, and outright or total rejection of sanctification. A church that preaches grace and prosperity without sanctification is on her way to annihilation. It's an apostate church. The journey of apostasy begins from what? Preaching grace and prosperity without what? Without sanctification. Begins the journey into 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 apostasy, and that is what we have today. And we are praying that the Lord, in this series of teaching, the Lord will help us to be able to retrieve our step and uh, you know return to where we miss it, because the time for the ark of the Lord to return back to our nation and our nations is now. Now is the time of revival. It is either we get revival now or we continue on this path of calamity and. Uh, Part of you know you know you know untold hardship, as we see in Nigeria, as we see all over the nations of the world. The Lord bless you as you continue to you know listen to us. You shall be well with you in Jesus' name. I want to um I want to urge you to please as you listen to our messages, please share this message to others, and then also don't just share alone. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, and then uh, the Lord will help us as we continue on this path. That at the long run we will make the rapture. At the long run, we escape the calamity. We will be among those who, who God will use in the last revival. The Lord bless you. I am your brother, Moses Ojo Chenemi God Special. Paraventure God is leading you to partner with us. You can reach us on 080 Let me take it again. 080 The Lord bless you. Shalom Maranatha. Till we meet at the feet of Jesus.